Last on BBC One, a decade on, where did it all start? Over the last 10 years, for five days a week, almost two million of you have tuned into Doctors to keep up with your favourite characters. And to celebrate, all this week, I am going to give you an exclusive insight into some of the storylines and the stars that were in them. So don't go away, because we are going to hear the cast and crew spill the beans on how the decade of Doctors all began. Doctors first hit our screens on the 26th of March, 2000. And that's for you, Dr. Maguire. You were still snoring for England when I called and went at 3 o'clock this morning. Well, lucky old me. Doctors was the first original homegrown daytime television drama. My first reaction when I saw Doctors was initially surprised because I expected them to be speaking in Australian accents. But then I realised, no, it wasn't another Australian daytime soap. It's actually something quite different. Stop that now, love, please. what it was tackling, the subject matter that it was addressing, and the fact that it was doing it in a more of a, a drama style than a soap style was, I guess, what caught my attention and what dragged me in in the first place. But it's not him. It's not his fault. It's the disease. He's still my Derek. And I love him. From the beginning, Doctors operated on one of the fastest turnarounds in the business, filming three episodes a week and now producing 234 episodes a year. But at the start, the frenetic filming pace was the least of the team's worries. And action! One of the uh, challenges of a, a daytime drama is that uh, there's less money to play with to make the show, so we had to come up with a uh, production style that fitted the budget. And we came up with this two-camera film style, which in essence, it's twice the speed of shooting with one camera. When it started, there was quite a verite feel to, to Doctors. The camera was quite jittery, it bounced around. It was as if you were peering into someone's front room and watching the developments unfold around them. It hid uh, basically the fact that we didn't have a lot of extras. We didn't have a lot of money on the screen. So the technique was there actually in many ways to hide our deficiencies. Filming in the new style wasn't always a hit with the actors, though. I remember once the director saying, cut. And I said, lightheartedly, oh, why have we stopped? Was it, was it too wobbly? And he said, no, it's not wobbly enough. The only established thing about Doctors was Christopher Timothy, who'd been a prime-time fixture for 12 years as vet James Herriot in All Creatures Great and Small. My name is Herriot. Mr. Harriet, I'm applying for the position of assistant. Mr. Farnan said to come in time for tea. It was a huge, huge success, you know, and, one, and how lucky was I to be in it and to be part of all that. And uh, then suddenly, um, I really couldn't get arrested. We were really excited to get Chris Timothy, who was, you know, a household name, a star of the 70s and 80s. I was just very excited to be working. All right, little girl, come on. What I did know was that I would not be asked to stick my hand on the cow's bottom. Sorry, madam, let me explain. I have a doctor playing Please a bee. No, I'm, I'm in a costume. Well, arguably, the, the roots of uh, Doctors are in the play for today, where uh, almost anything goes. The first episode of Doctors I saw was a Michelle storyline. And it was kind of a bizarre one about a cavalier who was part of a historical reconstruction who gets involved in a car crash. And I've never really seen anything like it before. <laughs> to do something like that to a daytime audience as well, who, uh, who aren't used to something as, as, as crackers as that. I mean, it says an awful lot for the belief they have in the show. Now in its 10th year, with over 1,700 episodes in the can, the Doctor's team have gone on to create countless memorable characters and episodes. Tune in tomorrow as we reveal the secrets behind the most controversial and steamy storylines. Sex, doctors and rock and roll. Over the last 10 years, these sets have seen it all. So take a deep breath and brace yourself because I'm going to take you on a no-holds-barred journey through some of the most shocking, steamy and controversial storylines that the last decade of Doctors has brought to you. Doctors films nearly 240 episodes a year, meaning the producers are constantly searching for the next storyline and a team of 60 writers are kept hard at it, bringing each episode to life. We're going again, straight away, please. First positions. Yeah. It's rapid, that's for sure. The sets that I've worked on television-wise, this is the fastest. 
Cut. Is that code for the actors can do better? We're not afraid of taboos. As long as you treat your audience well and the quality of the writing and the performance is there, you can almost deal with any subject matter. This is your opportunity to set things right, Vivian. To take back some of the power he took from you. For Vivian's rape, we looked into the research and found that a lot of older women are put through this terrible ordeal. But dealing with a rape on daytime TV was always going to be a challenge. We weren't going to show it. Uh, and I think uh, the writers were very clever because they, des they decided to go with what happened afterwards. You use whatever dramatic device you can. You can use silences. You have her salvaging, trying to get back the day as it should have been. So she washes the sheets. She tries to cover up the wound on her arm. She's very in control, and then suddenly you realise that's not how it was at all. I need to tell you. I need to tell you because I don't know what will happen if I don't. The fact that we won best storyline for that story, for Vivian's rape, um, is great. It means that people really responded to the story and that uh, we produced something that had a great deal of resonance with people. Mm, I could do with a little more relaxation. Alongside the hard-hitting storylines, Doctors has always had a regular prescription for heat, which has kept it just as much in the headlines. One scene in particular sent the blood pressure soaring in the nation's tabloids. Too hot for daytime. That was a headline in The Sun about a scene that I filmed. It was deemed to be too racy for the daytime audience, and so it was snipped quite severely. But I was given an uncut version of it, which I do have in my video collection. <laughs> there is, of course, one storyline which every actor dreads and every viewer loves, the big exit. For almost two years, Michael McKell played Dr. Nick West. Nick had this huge car smash, which put him in a wheelchair. And you see that arc of, of him rebuilding his life, rebuilding his body, meeting a beautiful woman. We decided to give him a real fantastic out, which happened to be his death, um, which no doubt surprised him. And my first reaction was, oh, you can't get him. <laughs> he's like, he's been through so much. When we told Michael, who worked so hard on the show and was always so positive about the show, he was a little upset, but as, as we pointed out, it was a big end. Join us tomorrow when we catch up with some of the famous faces who've called in at the surgery and get the backstage gossip on these star appearances.